First in the Tank is a business that utilizes food waste in a delicious way. Hi Sharks, my name is Caitlin Magentel and I'm here seeking $500,000 in exchange for 10% equity in my company, Pulp Pantry. Sharks, I know you like talking numbers, so let me throw some at you. In the United States, we waste 54 million tons of food every single year. Oh, can you believe that normally all of this gorgeous produce would have been tossed? Or this, the fiber left over from juicing fruits and vegetables. This too normally goes unloved. Talk about a missed opportunity. Well, Sharks, the madness stops with us because Pulp Pantry has developed a new way to snack with impact. We take the thousands of pounds of organic produce that would otherwise go unloved every single week and upcycle them into a line of real veggie chips that are made from, you guessed it, real fresh vegetables, not corn, not potato starch, and certainly not grains for that matter. We're spreading the good vibes only with the delicious and nutritious snack that's packed with flavor and fiber, all the while tackling one of our most pressing environmental issues, food waste. Sharks, it's crunch time. <laughs> Who's ready to dig in and make a deal? We are. I love. We have our sea salt, salt vinegar, jalapeno lime, and barbecue. But the things to note with the pulp chips, they're 100% vegan, they're grain-free, they're gluten-free, and the best part about it is every serving has five grams of fiber, meaning that a bag of chips is nearly your day's serving of fiber. I'm amazed, they're so good. They're so delicious. I'm so happy you love I them. I mean, I could tell you're a woman of impeccable taste because you're wearing my Good American and yes. Fit for Success jumpsuit. Well done. <laughs> lots of kissing up going on, lots of kissing ah. up. <laughs> Just saying. Even better than the jumpsuit, good. these yeah. taste delicious. How are you getting the starchy consistency that I would expect from, you know, a grain? Because it's there. It's just balancing the fresh ingredients that we use, which is the fresh vegetables. We also add cassava flour yeah. um, and an okara flour, which is another upcycled ingredient made from actually the byproduct. So if there's of no gluten in these at all. No gluten, no grains. If you look at the back of a veggie chip in a normal grocery store, the first ingredient you probably see is potato starch or dried potato flakes. So we opted to create a version that has no potatoes either. Can you give me the stack on pricing from the cost per bag, yes. wholesale pricing? and retail, just run through that. So one bag costs $1.70 to produce. We wholesale for $3.24 and we're on shelf at $4.99 to $5.49. How did you come up with this idea? I got really interested in sustainability when I was just in eighth grade and my mom took me to see An Inconvenient Truth, the Al Gore oh. documentary, and environmental studies was my degree. But I think the big aha moment, I had a friend who had driven off campus to buy a bunch of organic produce and was juicing it. And I basically saw these handfuls of pulp and then the tiniest amount of juice. And she was like, I usually throw this away. I don't know what to do with it. So I took it home, made my first batch of carrot cookies. No. Carrot cookies. Yes, it was carrot I cookies. And the idea was honestly just something I pitched in a class project. And I just had professors who honestly were like, this deserves to exist in the world. This is a huge problem. Um, yeah. And we actually got a grant from my university to get started after graduating. But where are you getting the pulp from now? In, like at scale, because obviously so you're selling it. We actually work with two of the biggest national juice brands oh, in cool. the country. For them, there's so many challenges with the fact that there is so much organic byproduct that they have to pay a composter to take off to their take hands or away, pay yep. animal feed. So, so you come get it? Because if we can grow and absorb most of that, that byproduct, then it's actually saving them money. Do you pay for the veggies? So we do offer to, to basically cover the labor, the cost of labor. Because they're gonna have to pay for somebody else to take it away. Exactly. You basically just do that for them so they have no expense. Yeah. So. What are you doing in sales? We actually finished last year with just under $250,000 in sales. This calendar year, how much? This calendar year, we'll finish the year with just under 500,000. Okay, what are you gonna make on that? 20,000 net, so we are profitable. 70% of our business is retail. We're in about 600 doors, and about 20% of that is through third-party e-commerce sites like Thrive Market, Imperfect Produce. But you're asking me to pay you 10 times sales for a nascent snacking company that hasn't really established distribution yet outside of a couple of trials. So to speak to the valuation and, and what I would say to that, well, you, you know, should our run speak rate, to the valuation. <laughs> our the letter. run rate in the last, the last quarter 
puts us at about $700,000. And the problem for us has been less than 5% of our revenue in each of our channels has been spent on marketing. I have a lot of experience in this space, including Pipcorn. It's really competitive. I have to say though, I think the idea that you turn someone else's garbage into a successful business is amazing. That's the beauty of it. The beauty of it. And not only that, but on top of it, you have such passion and a purpose. But unfortunately, I think you're gonna have a, a, a tall mountain to climb in the competitive space. So for those reasons, I'm out. Thank you, Barbara, it was so nice to meet you. Caitlin, how much is in your bank account currently? About $20,000. Oh. Wow. So what's the lowest you've ever been at? I don't know if I should tell you. Yeah, <laughs> we've all been negative. We've all been negative, so don't feel You're bad. Yeah. You know, I've definitely seen it go down to like $1,000. I think the, the issue for us, again, is these cash flow cycles. You know, we want to do more in-store promotions and kind of getting people to try, maybe not. Now would be a great time for you to say to the other sharks, give me some offers. <laughs> Let's go. Well, listen, I'll start. Um, I don't think you're worth $5 million. But I'll tell you, you're very impressive. I've made a lot of money investing in women. Sustainability, check the box. Product is right on trend because I'm lowering my gluten. I think your business is worth two million bucks, so I'll give you 500,000 for 25%. Thank you for that offer, Mr. Wonderful. Caitlin, I'm gonna make this easy so you can properly understand your options, right? I actually, for once, agree with Mr. Wonderful. I, like, I think the valuation's a little nuts, and rather than give you an offer that's insulting, I'm gonna drop out. But I do wish you good luck, because I think you're a fantastic entrepreneur. Thank you, Emma, so nice to meet you. The thing for me is, is I love what you're doing. Love, love, love it. But you're asking for half a million dollars for 10%. I'm trying to figure out, like, how long will it take for me to see my money back? How about if I gave you the 500,000 as a loan? Because that feels a little safer to me. 500,000 as a loan at 6% interest, which is less than the going rate. Three years to pay it off. And then I would still want the 10% equity stake because I gotta go to work for you, right? And I've gotta help you and I've gotta give you all the knowledge that I know in the food space. That's my offer. Thank you, Lori. But you've got two offers, okay? That's good. Yeah. Mark, what are you gonna do? Okay, I'm gonna give you a list of my Shark Tank companies. <laughs> oh, Mush, Pans, Mushroom Jerky, Peanuts, Wanda Date, Unreal Deli, Snacklins, Nuts and More, Truffle Shuffle, New Milk, Everything Legendary. All these are companies in your category. Yeah. Companies that are on a mission to make the world a better place and to make people healthier. I understand the category. And so I'll make you an offer and it's going to be 500K for 20%. And I can tell you that, you know, when you walk in the door, we all know every entrepreneur has that limit, that number <laughs> that they don't want to go above. Yeah. But you have to ask yourself, where can you get to? Yeah. Because that's really where the value comes from. What is this company going to look like in two years with or without me, five years, 10 years? And can you go alone so you don't have to sell, so you can stick to your yeah. mission? Take the offer. I was Sorry, say, I have a listen, pulp chip in my front. Bless you. Caitlin, you've got, you've got, th you've got three offers. Um, you've got three you know offers. You're gonna change I, your for offer? For me, I, I'm just gonna say, like, I, I, Mark gave a good offer. He gave out his list. Um, I actually, I just love food. And <laughs> so I have a list. I have pizza, cupcake, bantam bagel. You know, I mean, I could rattle yeah. off all of my successes. And But the difference is these are all sustainable companies that have a focus on sustainability. And so is a, a frozen farmer health. and they have a farm. What do you want to do? We've got three offers. Well, Mark. Yes, ma'am. Would you come down to 15%? I'll meet you in the middle, 17. You got a deal. Done. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank Great you. presentation. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Oh my God. You're amazing. Thank you. It was so nice to meet you all. Congratulations. <laughs> Mark Cuban has invested in this space. He knows how to help brands that are a stage and size. Like, he is going to be such an asset to have on our team.